Alright, what is up guys? We are here for Losers Bracket. Jeremy Brunswasser versus Chris LeBlanc. Sorry about the late commentary start. Had to uh, address some issues. So it looks like Chris is on EDM. It's Jeremy. It's Pepe Magispector. There's no G in Magispector. Boosh. Not sure what life points are right now. Uh, so sorry, that's going to be off for a little bit. Time is correct. For time in the round. Uh, look at the boards that are here. Jeremy seems uh, doing pretty well for himself. He set up the uh, Master Field spell. He's got a raccoon. He's got a Kieran circulation. Staring down Erebus, a prime. Really, in two cards of hand, either being the most devastating thing Chris can have. Chris won game one, I think, by the conversation. Insane. So. It was going to game two here. Like, 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 like,
So yeah, guys, we want to play in an ARG event. We are here all weekend at Oaks PA at the Greater Philadelphia Convention Center. We have uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, DBZ, Force of Will, Card Fight, Vanguard, every game under the sun, Legacy Magic, all that good stuff. Uh, but if you can't make it out here, we have Providence, Rhode Island, August 14th and 15th, which is a short time away. So book your plans for that. But uh, right now, I'm your host, Mike Knowles. We have an R stream also going on at twitch.tv slash ARG live. We have the winner's bracket being streamed. Our awesome set for the weekend all set up. We have Base Lolly on the commentary team. It's looking to be a really fun weekend. And then to set them up so where you can't draw a single card to, to scale. Because that monkey board's gone. 33 minutes left in the round. As the clock gets ticks down. Jeremy will Eight. most likely be going first here. Two. His hand was nuts. He went Kiri, uh, Secret Village. You have bracket, right? Scales. Nah, one. Well, it looks like my opponent is uh, very short. You both lose and lose the bracket? Yeah, that's the man, yeah. We split anyway. Ben and I. for 16, you don't get nothing. Are we even in 16? I think so. We, this is the, uh, well, well, we I got a bot. We won. I haven't even won yet. I got a bot. We're in the loser bracket of 16. So I don't know. Play until I lose. That's what I'm doing. You go first? So Jeremy going first. Sky Iris, Abductor, Magician's Call. This is like a pretty strong opening hand. The normal, uh, sorry, the common management trap. The not so great one. I mean, it's okay. They're, they're all pretty great. And the Fox. So I think he discards Fox. Oh, you might want to use the counter trap. No, no, you discard Fox. Because you get activations off the uh, Abductor to get the Raccoon then. Oh wait, no, sorry. Fox adds the good trap. So I guess it's actually just as worth. Yep, okay, good discard that. Value's the other one better in this matchup. Probably correct for EDM. Get the scale. Okay, so now I get to search Kieran off the abductor or if you want something else, get something else. Just make sure he has lots of ways to interact with Chris on Chris's first turn here. Jeremy really going to attack on this one. So he wants to get really aggressive with a tuner. <coughs> wants a back row hate. He wants Oath Magician to recruit some resources. So he wants a tuner though. Move three. Iris pop. And four, three, sorry. Then make a nice big old dude. Oh, yep, my bad. Yep, 
the 200 Magician goes by the deck unless you use an Odd Eyes with it, as it's uh, other synchro material. Can only summon dragons, but, you know, Age of Fairy is a pretty damn good dragon, so he doesn't care. And then there's Seeker Village for that soft block. Two spell castles on the field to help with that village. Counter trap with sack one. The carry can bounce itself or another. Figure out how Jeremy wants to most optimally use his hand. Well, so two pass is a pretty good sign for Jeremy. He's going to summon all the things. And Chris is going to scoop to all the things. So, swift game two there. Jeremy taking it. Yes, H. Ferry being very strong in that matchup, getting the soft lock. So this format's all about the locks, whether you're locking down through sacking your opponent's stuff through uh, Stormforbs and popping off Carazes with Aethers to uh, Domain, to Spell Village with Kirins, even BA, Manning Anti Spell or Demise, just saying set five, pass, and win a Dark Destroyer in hand that pops shit. It's a uh, it's pretty lockdown format. Just don't let your opponent play Yu Gi Oh! That's, that's pretty much the point. So Chris, we have to go first, so he doesn't have to worry about getting locked down in his first turn of the game. Jeremy probably taking out some of those uh, traps to help play a more proactive turn two. Just depending on how many he uh, already runs in the main board and his sideboard options, obviously. Chris Arnold Strong with a brilliant fusion. Eddie Garnet. Kraz getting all that value. Can him get him out of there though? Got a, uh, a chalice and a storm force drawn off that. He has an either in hand. Oh, he's got tenacity though. So that's gonna start getting him his other combo pieces. Turn. Either. Either return. through your phone, the bracket as it stands, so I can just like read it off of you. Just text me on Facebook. Ooh. Chris went from no gas to a full tank.
All right, step one. All right, now I got some macro. Or not. Ooh, now I got the aether. Thank you, Austin. Angelo Summon. This will go to the extract because I'm using an odd eyes. Using an odd eyes monster, so you go to the extract. Makes it ding this turn. Gives the chance to come back strong. Fortunately, don't let Crystal allow it. Oh. Yep. And that is why. Two over four fifty. Is that chalice? And Chris here, just in a demanding and commanding position with this board seat. really just piling in all the resources here. Try to make sure when he ends his turn, Jeremy has almost something to cobble together a response. Chris Pasek, the low scale. Step number one. Step number two.
get in there with a Tiras. Oh, not just yet, he's got more to do, folks. Rain storm. Sand diesel? And Crystal Block takes it. 